Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick update on my experience with the HP Omen 17 for 2021. Now, for those of you that caught my unboxing and first update, you already know this thing is a beast. Top to bottom, this is going to deliver some of, if not the best performance from a laptop here in 2021. At least the best performance I've been able to put hands on. The downside is it is totally unavailable as a result of the pandemic, the chip shortage, supply chain issues. HP has pulled not the product landing page, that I'll still include in the description, but you cannot order this. It is not configurable. That footprint is gone. In fact, the only gaming machines right now that HP has listed really uh, that are new, the Omen 15 in the $1,300 3060 variant, uh, that's with a Ryzen 7 CPU. I don't think the Intel ones are available. And then, uh, of course, the Victus. Um, so nothing really bleeding edge available right now. That's just the way things are here in September of 2021. Um, what today's update is all about is an upgrade that I made to this machine. So for those of you that already know the build, we've got a Core i9 11th gen uh, processor. It screams. We've got one terabyte of Gen 4 NVMe, NVMe goodness, which is actually right here and that's the Samsung 980 Pro. If you're wondering why I pulled it, I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM, which I may end up upgrading just to see uh, what 64 gigs feels like. I mean, this thing benchmarks unlike anything else over 11,000 on time spy stock. Of course, the star of the show besides the CPU is the NVIDIA RTX 3070 with max power. It is just beast-tastic. And then this 17.3 inch, color accurate, uh, color accurate uh, QHD display with a 165 hertz refresh rate is phenomenal. And that is yet another star of this show. I love the subdued uh, styling. The keyboard is fantastic. It is per key RGB. Um, I thought it was four zone, it is not. Uh, we don't have any numerical keypad, but big deal. Uh, but the mechanical, uh, keyboard with optical switches is just excellent, uh, as is the touchpad. So, what is today's video about? What has been on screen this whole time? I installed a Sabrent 4 terabyte uh, Rocket 4 Plus Gen 4 drive, so basically one of these guys, but in a 4 terabyte capacity, and I'll include links uh, in the description to these as well. Uh, and it works flawlessly, which is really good news. But the even more surprising news is that I've got a Sabrent 8 terabyte Rocket Q in the secondary drive. Now, uh, one thing you should know is that only the primary drive is Gen 4 capable, the secondary drive is Gen 3 capable. So this just happened to work out by luck. Um, I initially thought both drives would be Gen 4, uh, but I never expected that the 8 terabyte would function in here. Reason being that no laptop, to my knowledge right now, actually can handle a 8 terabyte uh, Sabrent drive. It's just too power hungry, uh, but this beast took both and is just working perfectly, both on the 330 watt power supply, that giant brick that makes this thing the beast that it is, and off. And also HP, even though I don't have this disassembled, maybe I will sh uh, share that in another video if I end up doing the RAM upgrade, does have copper heat sinks pre-installed for both NVMe drives. So HP really thinking of everything. I give them credit for that. I haven't seen that um, with another machine, at least that I've reviewed. So you heard right, I've got 12 terabytes of blistering bleeding edge performance in here. So for gaming, again, photo and video editing for the channel, this is basically a dream uh, machine, workstation and gaming machine. I mean, it has everything. And the fact that the display, keyboard, and I.O. are fantastic just seals the deal. So you better believe when this thing is available, if you're looking for a 17-inch uh, desktop replacement, this is the machine to beat, at least in terms of what's come to my studio so far. So let me close this thing up. Uh, the fans do a little bit of whirling. They get loud when things are under load, but you will be glad you own this thing because it is amazing. Again, over 11,000 on time spy. I mean, this thing video edits 
uh, the 4K content I'm shooting with my FX3 like a desktop. I have no way of putting it other than that. And when it comes to IO, literally not a corner was cut. Even the full-size SD card reader is faster than anything I have seen inside of a laptop. So um, just everything about this machine, again, is phenomenal. Um, its size and battery life, well, the size, if you're picking it, obviously is an advantage. Battery life isn't its strong suit, but did you really expect that? Uh, headphone microphone combo jack, Thunderbolt 4 port. Um, unfortunately, no power delivery, no way to charge with that. So if HP could address one thing in the next gen or next revision, please give us a way to charge uh, through the Thunderbolt port. It's not a game breaker for me, a deal breaker, because again, this is right now my favorite machine for when it comes to sheer power. It's not about portability, clearly. Um, HDMI display port, type A port, um, of course, ethernet, the power jack right there. Come around the machine to the other side, two type A ports, ventilation all over the place. And, you know, disassembly wasn't too bad. A little bit of dust there on the rubber feet. Um, you know, Phillips screws all around, and then you're gonna go guitar, uh, use a guitar pick to get leverage on the seam all around this. You know, it took a little bit of finagling, but um, when all was said and done, of course, got it off cleanly, got it back on cleanly, and just love that they've got heat sinks. I may even just insert, I took one image of the internal when I uh, build when I opened it up, so maybe I'll throw that in right now. Um, if I didn't, you'll see it eventually probably when I do uh, the RAM upgrade, which I think I'm going to do. Um, it's just a matter of getting another 32 gig DIMM since I already have one in the G15 that will absolutely work with this machine. And I can only imagine what 64 gigs of RAM and this thing um, are going to be able to do. So, especially in dual channel. Uh, so without any hes hesitation, when the Omen 17 uh, for 2021 is available again, this is the beast to beat right now. Uh, again, I don't know any machine, and chime in if you're aware of one, that actually can deal with the Sabrent 8TB uh, Rocket Q. And then the fact that I've got that 4TB Rocket 4 Plus Gen 4 drive with a read and write of over 6,000 and over 5,000 respectively. I'm sorry, but like desktops, watch out. This machine's coming for your lunch. And that is the beauty of 3000 series uh, max power GPUs in laptops here in 2021. Even though we can't get them, because this is the only one I've got here um, with all of these specs. And by the way, this is where the edge comes to Intel. I love that Intel and AMD are competing at such a high level right now. Um, in some cases, AMD uh, eclipsing Intel in performance and Intel fighting back. But the one thing Intel absolutely has going for it, it's the storage speed and the Gen 4 uh, as well as Thunderbolt 4 capability, uh, and that just takes things to another level. I'm not saying you're gonna notice it in everything, but when it comes to bleeding edge hardware, this beast is it right here. I wish that I had gotten the, the 32 gigs of RAM that originally were spec but I'm not complaining. I love this thing. Uh, again, fingerprint magnet, battery life is not exceptional, but it just chews everything up and spits it out. And my desktop is crying in a corner right now. Any questions or comments? Oh, oh and by the way, Wi-Fi performance is excellent. No issues there uh, either. I think someone on one of the updates had mentioned that they tried to put in the second NVMe and Wi-Fi performance or their Wi-Fi, the card actually wouldn't work. None of those issues here. And again, HP really appreciate those copper uh, heat sinks being ready to go for the NVMe drives. Love this thing. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.